that the 200cc crankshaft does have a lip here at the steering cheek side towards the clutch. The 125 crank does not have this lip. If you want to use a 200cc in a 125 engine you need to remove the lip. The 125 case like this one, it's a millennium case. You see here it does not have any groove. Because the 200cc, I'll show you in a minute, has a groove here because of this lip here, which makes the steering cheek wider. So, therefore, a groove in the case is needed. Let's get a 200cc case. A 200cc case. 200cc crank has this lip and therefore there is this groove here let's measure the steering cheeks what's the difference the 125 cheers guys We got here the 200cc crank and as I explained before or actually two days ago we have to cut off this lip here that's the second difference between 125 and 200cc crankshaft the lip and the other one is that just the condrod is five millimeters longer it's a 110 and the 125 has a 105. So, shall we? See how it goes. God, I made a mistake. Give me a second. Too much beer. Of course, you first shall please protect the crankshaft clutch side stump. Too much beer, I guess. <laughs> oh, cheers, by the way. How precise does it have to be here? You know, it looks like the 125 crankshaft now. There's the other one. It is here. Look. It also does not have a lip. Oh, you can see. It also does not have a lip. How precise? 0.5 millimeter more or less. It does not matter in the end because the intake that is a certain let's call it safety distance to the side that the rotary valve is still closed by the crankshaft cheek if you find tips online regarding widening the intake to the side forget it don't do it keep it safe and then you will not have any problem why keeping it safe why not extending it yeah I'm not sure if you can test it on a dyno the effect if it is half a millimeter wider to one 
one or the other or both sides. I do know that when you change the exhaust port shape, when you optimize the cylinder timings, this is an effect you can actually measure. So um, forget the intake. Extend it to the front, to the back. Don't fool around to the side to keep some safety that it actually closes with these different crankshafts that are available but work on cylinder timing, cylinder head, exhaust port, width and shape and these are the effects that definitely define the power of an engine. Don't forget the exhaust. Bad exhaust can screw up the best cylinder timings ever. So this is quite sharp. We're gonna round it a bit with a sandpaper roll or a flap wheel. Let's do that. And there we go. What do we have? 21? Wow. It's an old crank from... from... wait, which one is it? Um, 2011. And it did still quite well, just vibrations, because the stumps are ankled. That's the most common crankshaft damage, that the stumps are ankling. And then it vibrates, of course. Yeah? But for this Chrono VMC 187 test, this crankshaft is fine. FM pimped. Let me see here. Let me see, actually. I just fixed the Conrad as it does not get in the way where we cut off the lip. And how I did fix it here was I have this bearing dummy or any bearing will do and I just put it here tighten it and then you can work on it on the crankshaft as you saw before bearings for the conrod 200cc has a 60 millimeter and uh, 125 crankshaft does have a 15 millimeter and if you want to use a 200 in a 125 engine and for a cylinder there are conversion bearings like this one from Gross Sport so it is a 15 millimeter bolt but it is on the outside a 60 millimeter bearing it fits here the bolt itself would be losing the original 200 cc bearing